as Yennefer of Bengerberg told it, there had been a magic explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Kraken Krait, who helped break down the druid's resolve. Sea fiends kill Dagon. I have sent so many to kill them. You were raised you from the moon from the guard, I guess. Listen, Witcher. Got us some weird diablin. You know, drowners. Real problem. The kind your silver sword could most certainly solve. Let me guess. They're tearing your nets, devouring your fish, and attacking the occasional lone boatman or tavern patron who walks home along the shore. Were that the only harm? Terrors in the bay are meaner than on the continent. They hunt come dusk or dawn. Attack fishermen wielding just oars and warriors alike. Sea tosses them up after. Armor shredded, guts devoured. Strange. Any witnesses? Rurik, my apprentice. He was on a boat the Muir Diablin attacked. There's Tove, too. Her man was killed. She lives nearby, up a bit. Sorry. None other comes to mind. Those who see the beasts, meet him. Well, they generally don't come back to dry land alive. I'll take the job. Dealt with drowners many times. It'll soon be over. Got my word on that. Over there, Witcher. You looking for work by any chance? Seen the plan? Strange long ship we're building. Bottom's almost flat. About a two foot drop. Well, Yelma's the man. Don't eat so much. Why the spit not? Because if you get hit in the gut and those herrings get tangled in your entrails, there'll be no food for you. Beware the bandits that lurk in the highlands. Palmer's right. Should this thing will sink come the first storm. After the same, Rebel will be frozen. He says, I'll die famous. I'll come back a rich man. Either way is good. Told drowners killed your husband. Then you were told right. First the sea took my son, and now my man. I'm the only one left. Kivilla, our son, he went out fishing and didn't come back. My man would walk out to the Kierag cliffs every day to watch for his boat. I told him he cannot bring him back to life, and that he could die himself. We'd heard about drowners, but he couldn't sit still donned his old coat and went. One night, he didn't come home. I fetched my brother, grabbed a torch, and we went looking for him. The Muera Diablin. Sea fiends. They clawed him so bad, I only knew him by his coat. Small comfort, I know. But the drowner problem will soon end. I promise you that. Farewell. Honest breeding and plundering. 
Rurik, right? Heard you were on a boat the Drowners attacked. Aye, I was. With Ulf, my cousin, gathering our crab traps off the Kjerrig cliffs. Ulf was pulling up a line, having a hard time of it. Grand, I thought. Cage has got to be full, it'll be a good haul. Then something tugged back and down. Weren't a blink and Ulf was underwater. Called after him, once, twice, thrice. Then the water went red with blood. I smelled something horrid. Rotten, but worse. In the moor, the Eblin flipped the boat. Don't even know how I made it ashore. Must have had Freyr watching over me. That, or the monsters had eaten their fill. Thanks for the story. That's it, Roach. sucked out. Need a long, thin tongue for that.
damage. untouched hidden for later drowners just don't do that almost untouched hidden for later drowners just don't do that bruises on his neck crushed larynx strangled Sent.
Come on. Take it easy. Best blade's not worth shite if a weak arm's swinging it, eh? Job's done. Here's the proof. Now why would I want to see... What the devil is that? Water hag. An old, clever one. She was the danger. Seen a lot of ugly critters in my life. Mores, lampreys, blobfish. But never nothing like this. Your award. Well earned, Witcher. Well earned. Thanks. So long. Come on. Looking to buy? Show me your wares. My caverns of bosom. Something for your dog. Some silver earrings from the continent, perchance. Oh, Witcher, if Miretta wants something from the continent, I hear he's coming to the hair with Hitch. He'd never make his long ship. Most humbly beg your pardon, but I'm in quite a predicament. See, I'm I'm a wandering juggler from occupied Tamaria and Tamaria. You sure? Not Novigrad. What? Why Novigrad? No, no, I come from Malibor and. Uh... You're not cut out for this line of work. Memory's too short. See, we've met. But you were a respected Novigrad merchant who wanted desperately to get home. Oh, but, but I assure you, I... All right, all, all right, you got me. 
I, I know this all looks bad, but I, I swear I, I'll pay you back, mate. All of it with with interest. Just please, don't don't take me to the yard. Definitely won't get my coin back if I turn you in. But try to cheat me again, and I'll find you. I'll find you, and I'll. Yeah, I ain't lying. Besides, you can go to the yard any time you want. Then I expect to see you later. You know, not in the mood for a rough housing today. Or guts, that is. That's it, Roach. Run, Roach. Hey, ya. Run, Roach. Greetings. Greetings. Mind if I have a look at your herbs? See ya. Fare thee well. I recognize your type and my look.
Not so fast, Roach. What happened to your father? He was cutting wood, and a bear attacked him. Show me where it happened. Over here, past the trees. there, Roach. The sea hurled ashore. Hey, you! What clan are you from? No clan. I'm from the continent. Skelliger warriors alone drink at this tavern. Not looking for trouble. <laughs> Look at him. Raise your voice and his tail slinks between his legs, like a dog who's heard a wolf howl at the moon. Looking to eat? Wait out in the yard then. Till ill tosses what's left in our bowls or the fence. Whosoever denies shelter to a traveler, 
disgraces himself and brings shame on his clan. Your dad's teaching nothing. Don't you talk to me about me da, Yorant, or I'll tuck you in me the barrow. And you remember this stranger. This here's not Ker Trolda. And we's not on crate. Guests are not welcome. You don't mind the occasional traveler? I mind fools, no matter where they're from. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Yorant, son of Sigvald. If you've no one to drink with, sit down with me. Share some mead and a teal. What's that supposed? Aye, Geralt. I saw your notice. Pretty bare. Can you tell me more about the beast? It's a ghost, I think. Or some other nightmare. Haunts Eldberg near the lighthouse. Started harmless. Lighthouse just stopped burning one night. Without that light, ships can't make Aaron Bjorn safely. So we sent two men to see what had happened. Let me guess. They didn't come back. Nay, they didn't. Mikyel, the lightkeeper, he'd also gone missing. So I gathered some lads, a rescue party, and off we sealed. As we neared the isle, I hit the rudder hard and turned round. I'd seen a wraith on shore. Must think me a coward. Will crude steel it not do us much good there? I felt it in me bones. All I could think to do was to gather gold round the village for a reward. Help us, and it's yours. Fine. See what I can do. Thank you, Geralt. You're a good sort. What to be said. Don't deceive me. You're the White Wolf. Warrior, lover, philosopher extraordinaire. Someone's fed you a load of... And a friend of the great Master Dandelion himself. The great Master Dandelion. Aye. Who built you a monument more lasting than any of bronze. When next you see him, White Wolf, please convey the great esteem in which I, Sigurd, hold his many achievements. Oh, I'll be sure to tell him exactly what I think of his... tales. It would be a disgrace to censor such an artist. Though a smith by trade, I too do my best work in words. Wouldn't mind a look at your wares. Specialty goods alone. But I don't expect a tramp from the continent to know him from tripe. See ya. And thanks for the service. Really warm and kind.
White Wolf? Wouldn't mind a look at your wares. That's it, Roach. Let's go.
pathetic.
Savage Mist. Managed to find cover. Almost. Hey, anyone there? Uh, how did you get here? What do you think? It is an island. You, Mikyal, the lightkeeper? Jorand from Erenbjorn sent me. Where'd all those wraiths come from? Last saw something like this near Vergen when... From nowhere's. That's just it. Fire went down and wind died of a sudden. That's how it started. Came out here for oil, stepped out of the house, looked up, saw the mist rising. Then the ghost showed. Came straight at me. Bolted back inside, hosped the door, and then I heard it. Someone whispered me name. Miguel. Miguel. I look out. There's the ring. Big bugger. Bigger than the rest. And cold flowing from it. Such cold the windows frosted o'er. This wraith. The big one. Tell me more. It... It, it seemed more clever than the others. Like it knew. Knew everything. Haven't helped much, have I? Sorry. Only saw it once. It disappeared right after. These ghosts didn't appear without reason. Something brought them here. Any ideas? No clue. There's nothing here. The lighthouse. Me hot just rocks besides. Even bloody drowners know there's nothing for them on Elberg. Strange. Need to look around. Here. This key opens the lighthouse. You know, in case you want to look inside, or you need to run from something. Symbols of a bonding. Manifestations of ill will. Focused, concentrated. So it's a curse. A curse that keeps the specters here. A penitent. Good thing it hasn't appeared to me yet. Couldn't possibly kill it in this mist and darkness. Need that lighthouse working again. If Mikiel's the cursed one, the curse binds him to this place. He's the only one who can light the fire that'll break the curse. Spectre punishes the guilty for crimes, foul deeds. But 
I'm the only one lives here. And I've hurt no one. Troubled not a soul. We'll come back to that later. Just now, I need your help. But, but, but what? I'm no warrior. Guessed that already. But a curse grips both you and this place, and only you can lift it. Luckily, all you gotta do is light the fire in the lighthouse. Penitent's invincible as long as darkness covers the island. I... I, I can't go outside. It'll kill me. I can f feel it. Mayhaps you could. I'll escort you. Now no excuses. Grab some oil and let's go, before I change my mind. Look! There! It's him! I see it. Now shut your mouth and go light the fire. Remember, you fail, the penitent will kill me, and come for you. Hurry up! Don't know how much longer I can manage this. Show me what you got. Did it work? It did. Still don't know what brought the penitent here, though. You'd best be careful. I'd gladly thank you with words and gold. It's just my coin pouch is empty. I know the feeling. So long. Geralt. I killed the monster from the lighthouse. It was a penitent, very dangerous specter, and very rare. Why did it ever appear on Eldberg? It's been a peaceful island always. Even sirens haven't nested there. Someone committed a crime there, did something terrible. 
Never mind that. Let's talk about my reward. Aye, yes. Got it right here. Earned every last coin you did. And a round. Cheers to your health. So long. Am I here? Got a taste for Skellige mead, Vagrant? It's not bad, thanks. Ah, then get yourself a cake for the road. And fuck off. I see you lads still don't understand the law of hospitality. Tough. Seems like guts to pound it into you. Thanks, Jorand. Pounding's always better with a partner. I won't let this pass. So many raids, wars, duels. Only to die at the hands of some miserable shits. What can I do? Get your family? You won't manage. Be journeying to meet my ancestors soon. Pour a nip off for me at times. For Jorant, son of Sigvald, who lived honorable and died. Speak, damn it. They're dead. That's some foreigners, Han. Corey! Crikey! Had but two sons, and you killed them. You ended my line. Sorry, but I didn't start it. Does this stranger speak the truth? Who first drew a blade? Dunno. It happened fast, and we were a few horns in. I killed the monster from the lighthouse, the beast that haunted you. This how you repay me? Paid you in gold. We owe you nothing more. Don't want any more bloodshed, but I'll defend myself if I have to. You'll make your defense before the Jarl. Only if Madman Lugos calls you innocent, will you be free to go. I'm to be judged by somebody you yourselves call Madman? That, or fight the whole village, and you'll never defeat us all. Not with three swords, you won't. Fine. Lead the way. Just had to stop by that damn tavern. <laughs>